Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we will understand how to do normality testing of the data. So whenever I talk about normality, if any variable is normally distributed, it will depict some characteristics. Some characteristics which are noteworthy are 1. It will have a continuous random variable. It is a continuous random variable. It will have a bell-shaped curve. The normal curve extends indefinitely in both the directions approaching but never touching the horizontal axis also known as uh, it's an asymptote it's a unimodal mean is equal to median is equal to mode symmetrical with respect to mean that is a 50% of the area under the curve lies to the left of the mean and the 50% of the area under the curve lies right of the mean the total area under the normal curve will be always equal to 1 the most distinguished feature of any variable if it is normally distributed are if I take mean and plus or minus one standard deviation observations are taken 66.7 percentage of the area it will cover the mean plus or minus two standard deviation covers 95 percent of area the mean plus or minus three standard deviation covers 99.7 percentage of the area now what's the role of the normality to carry out any parametric test like t-test and ANOVA, it is necessary that the variable is normally distributed. So, it is necessary that we check the normality in the variable. If it is normally distributed, then only we go for parametric test. If the normality is not established, then we go for non-parametric test. So, you can see here that if I take mean, as this is a mean and if I take plus or minus one standard deviation 68 percent of the data will be covered in 95 percentage plus or minus two plus or minus two sigma 95 percentage of the data will be covered plus or minus three sigma 99.7 percentage of the data will be covered now there are two approaches to test the normality one histogram and box plot the second one is normal quantile plot so these are informal methods of testing the normality. The formal methods are we run a formal test. The most celebrated test is Sapiro-Wilcoxon test, second Kolmogorov-Smanov, and the third is Anderson-Darling test. Different softwares use different tests to test the normality. Now how we can do this? Let's see in Jupyter Notebook. First of all, I'll run some libraries like import numpy as np, import pandas as, pin, uh, as pd, from pandas import series, from pandas import data frame. Now, I'll import the data file which is empty cars. In my, this tutorial series, I have used empty cars, iris data set, titanic data set. All these data sets are very easily available on Kaggle website. Now I'll write down here df that is data frame is equal to pd. pd is a short form for pandas. As soon as I import uh, pandas as pd, I will be able to use all the functions which are there in pandas. So pd dot read underscore csv. R is working like a magical operator for the smooth import of the data file. So R and the path is specified. When I'll run this, I'll be able to get the data frame. The error was because I had not run the previous library and therefore it gave me the error. Now it's not giving any error. Now I'll extract MPG from this data frame. You can run normality testing of only that variable which is continuous. You can see here MP, this is model, it's a string variable. MPG miles per gallon is a continuous variable. Number of cylinder is discrete 4, 6 and 8. It's a categorical. Displacement is again continuous. Horsepower is continuous. D rate is continuous. Weight is continuous. Q sec is continuous. VS is vertical and straight engine. 
1 for vertical, 0 for straight. EM is automatic and manual transmission. 0 is for automatic and 1 is for manual. Now this is, you can say, a nominal variable and therefore we cannot run normality testing on this data set. Number of gears, either it is 3, 4 or 5. Carburetors are 1, 2, 3 and 4. So we can run normality testing of only that variable whose mean and standard deviation can be computed. Now first of all, we will have to extract MPG from this data frame and the command line is MPG is equal to df.mpg. So I have extracted MPG from this data frame. Now I want to check the normality with the, he with the help of histogram, informal methods of testing the normality. So from matplotlib import pyplot, apply pyplot.hist mpg, pyplot.show. So it will give me the histogram. Right. Now you can see here if I connect this center points, it is not unimodal, it is having two modes. Okay. The second way to test the normality is the box plot. The command line is pyplot.boxplot mpg. I am giving the label mpg. It is just a label. Pyplot.show. So I will get the box plot. Now, let us understand what is the concept of box plot. Now, this is a normal distribution, normal distribution plot. If I connect, this line just pay attention the line at for example first quantile second quantile and third quantile if i connect if i connect first quantile and third quantile line if i draw a line at median you can see the box which is generated and if i put the whiskers at plus or minus three sigma and if i just you can say shuffle it rather I, I will say that if I draw it like this it gives me box plot now any observation which is beyond plus or minus 3 sigma is an outlier the extreme fluctuations in the data now the presence of this outlier will alter the mean on either side and therefore, a proper treatment is to be done on the outlier. If your variable can, if your variable is having less than five percentage of the outlier, a decision is taken to remove those observations. So, again, we will go in Jupyter notebook and try to see is there any outlier or not. So yes, we are having one outlier. Now, for the data to be normally distributed. It is necessary that this white portions are equally divided. One. Second, both the whiskers are at equidistance. Then we can say that the data is normally distributed. We can represent the normality in another way also by activating notch is equal to true. Nothing is going to change. This is another way of representing the box plot. I can also color it by adding one more argument patch underscore artist is equal to true and I will get the colored box plot. I can flip it by just indicating vertical is equal to zero and when I will run it, I will get the horizontal box plot. This is a first method, informal method. To test the normal. The second method is to plot the QQ plot. So I will run from stats model dot graphics dot golf plots. Import QQ plot from matplotlib import pi plot. QQ plot mpg that is mpg is a variable line is a straight pi plot dot show. And you will get this type of 
plot where the red line represents the normal distribution and the blue line is our data set that is mpg if your variable is normally distributed all this blue line or all these blue dots will be on the red line but any deviation from this red line they are all outliers you can see uh, there are some outliers which are here and out, some outliers here now this is an informal method of testing the normality now we will go for formal method that is running a test the null hypothesis in this case will be data is normally distributed the alternative is data is not normally distributed so we are going to run sapiro wilcoxon test so from numpy.random import seed from skypy.stats import shapiro if you are not having a skypy li uh, library you will have to activate it i already explained in my previous videos how to activate the library pip install skypy i'll request all of you to pre uh, to please refer my previous video of this lecture series so that you can understand the flow of this entire series now write down stat comma p sapiro mpg mpg is a variable which we are specifying here print statistics is equal to percentage dot 3f three floors it means that generate the output till three decimals so this is a statistics value which i will get from get it get here and this is the probability value which i will get here so p is equal to percentage dot 3f percentage stat comma p now i am specifying the significance level so my alpha is 5% level of significance and therefore i will write here 0 0.05 now i will activate the if and else condition if p is greater than alpha if this p is greater than alpha then we fail to reject null we fail to reject null which means that data is normally distributed if p is less than 0 0.05 the sample does not look Gaussian. We reject null. It means that the data is not normally distributed. Now let us run this test and we got the answer. P is equal to 0 0.123. So it has given me the output sample looks Gaussian or the data is normally distributed. Now we will run another type of test which is Agostino Pearson test. We will activate from numpy.random import seed, from skypy.stats import normal test, stat comma p. Now instead of this sapiro, we'll write down normal test. Everything else will remain same. So we'll get the results, which you can see here. Again, the p-value is more than 0 0.05. And according to Agostina Pearson test, we got the same results that your data is normally distributed. The third type of test is Anderson Darling test. From numpy.random import seed, from skypy.stats import Anderson. And now instead of normal test or Sapiro, we will activate the Anderson. Now there is one change we want to do here. Now I'll specify the range, the critical values I'll specify. So for i in range len result dot critical values. So I want to uh, test the statistics at 1% level of significance, 2.5% level of significance, 5%, 10% and 15%. So now I'll specify SL comma CV is equal to result dot significance underscore level significance level i. So this is i result dot critical values again i so this is i if result dot statistics is greater than is less than result dot critical value i okay so if this statistics value is less than the critical value we fail to reject ho and data looks normal so our null is accepted that we cannot write but we are writing fail to reject null but if your results statistics, that is else argument, is greater than result 
dot critical values i, we will reject null and data does not look normal. When I'll run this statistics, I've got the value of the statistics, Anderson statistics is 0 0.580. Now let us interpret. This is the critical value at 1%. This is, you can say, the standardized value at 1%, 2.5%, 5%, 10%, and 15%. Now, what you will have to do, you will have to compare this value with this value, this value with this value, this value with this value. Okay, we'll start. Let us see the condition. If the result statistics, so this statistics is greater than or less than result dot critical value. Now let us see this value. It is less than. This value is less than this value. It means that we fail to reject HO and data looks normal. Quite good. Now we will check at 2.5%. Is this value less than this? Yes, it is less than this and therefore we fail to reject null. Data looks normal. Similarly for this, similarly for this. But when we go for the comparison of this, this value is greater than this one and therefore else condition is activated. Data does not look normal at 15%. We are rejecting HO. Now what to do? If your data is not normally distributed. So we can go for the log transformation of the data and therefore we will generate a new variable that is log underscore mpg is equal to np dot log mpg. So the data is transformed. We are giving the logarithmic transform and now we will again check the normality first informal and then formal. So import matplot lib dot pyplot as pyplot import seaborn as sns this time we are using the seaborn libraries so sns dot distance dist plot log underscore mpg a transformed variable histogram is true kernel density is true then only we will get the blue line color is blue the color of the line is blue hist underscore kvs edge color should be black edge colors this edge color should be black Now it looks that data is normally distributed. But we will go for the formal testing with the Sapiro Wilcoxon test. So null is data is normally distributed, alternative is data is not normally distributed. We are running Sapiro Wilcoxon test. So from numpy.random import seed, from skypy.stats import Shapiro. So stat comma p sapiro log of underscore mpg the transformed variable everything else remains same we will run the data we will run this command line and we got the p value which is greater than 0 0.05 it means that whenever the p value is more than alpha we fail to reject null which means that the data is normally distributed so whenever we get the data normally distributed, we can use all parametric tests like t-test and ANOVA. In case if the data is not normally distributed, either we can transform it or we can use the non-parametric statistics, which we will see in the upcoming videos. So for more videos on data science, Kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos which are related to data science using Python. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video.